Hello everybody, we are back, back with some more Legacy. So, uh, last week, uh, as a donation deck, we played this Esper Stoneblade list with Orcish Bowmasters and Staff of the Storyteller. And we did okay. Uh, we went three and two. Now, looking at the deck, there were some things that I wanted to change. So I did. This is the updated list for what I am calling Esper Staff Blade. Uh, so this is just some adjustments from what we played last week. So what are our adjustments? Well, first off, Spell Pierce is gone. Uh, a singleton Spell Pierce just felt kind of strange, and there were some other things I wanted to work into the deck. Uh, so we got rid of the Spell Pierce. Uh, second, we had three copies of Prismatic Ending and one copy of Voidrend. I have upped it to three copies of Voidrend and cut the fourth. Uh, reason here being is that there were some other things that I wanted to include for various reasons, uh, which were, uh, we needed the space. So, uh, goodbye to the fourth copy. All of our removal has now become Voidrend and Swords to Plowshares. Uh, additionally, we've cut two copies of Staff of the Storyteller. Um, in practice, this was just kind of a little clunky. Um, I don't think that we are a controlling enough shell for this to be something that we can spend a lot of our time and resources doing. Uh, so we cut two of those. What did we get? Uh, what we got is two copies of Narset Parter of Ales. Uh, one of the things that I've seen that's floating around that is pretty problematic is this new deck centered around the One Ring. Well, your deck doesn't do a whole lot if you can't draw cards, buddy. So, uh, Narset will help shut that down. Uh, additionally, we got the th second copy of Teferi, Time Raveler, in the deck. Uh, Teferi is just so very good, and when we can, you know, uncounterably put in a true name or a Bowmasters or something like that, it's pretty dope. Uh, and then the Batter Skull moved from the sideboard to the main. Uh, this was. So, the friend that sent the deck list, Stoneblade for Life, aka Greg, uh, we were kind of talking and both of us thought about a third weapon. I was looking at a sword, originally, and he was like, I really think that you need the Batter Skull in the 75 somewhere, and is it really worth having four weapons in the 75? And I went, okay, fair. So, Batter Skull has joined the party in the main. The only other change to the main was cutting Scrubland... <coughs> in favor of Fourth Tundra, and cutting one Polluted Delta in favor of Marsh Flats. Uh, reason being, Marsh Flats is going to go ahead and let us grab Basic Plains or Swamp, as well as a Blue Duel, uh, whereas this Fourth Delta only grabs Swamp and Blue Stuff, missing the White Source. Uh, so, just something I wanted to do, diversify our fetch lands a little bit, seemed pretty okay. Then in the sideboard... You'll see here that originally we had this Batter Skull, we had this bonus Thoughtseize, we had two Plague Engineers, we had this Hydro Blast. A lot of this felt like stuff we didn't necessarily need. Uh, Thoughtseize as an extra way to disrupt combo makes some sense, but we already have Force of Negation and Fluster Storm and Deafening Silence. So I didn't really feel like we needed those. Um, Plague Engineer, we already have access to Umazawa's Jite, Orcish Bowmasters. We have plenty of things that deal with X1s, uh, so I didn't really feel like Plague Engineer was something that was truly that necessary. Uh, finally, uh, Hydro Blast. I don't really want to fight Counter Wars with Blasts. It just doesn't seem like an efficient use of our time and resources. Uh, and the thing is that with Void Rend, we can answer all of the various red permanents we would need to. So, that leaves us with a sideboard looking like this. Two copies of Deafening Silence, one Containment Priest, two copies of Serenity, up here from one, up here from one, uh, one copy of Hull Breacher, and two copies of Meddling Mage. So our new additions, one Deafening Silence, one Serenity, one Hull Breacher, two Meddling Mage, over Batter Skull, Hydro Blast, two Plague Engineers, and the Thought Seas. So, uh, this is the next revision on this Esper Staff Blade deck. Uh, so, without too much further ado and chatting and conversation, um, 
we're going to dive right in. I guess to explain a little more um, some of my choices here, uh, deafening silence because combo is becoming pretty prevalent again, especially with like the one ring deck, this is very good. Serenity, same deal, eight cast, one ring deck, pretty prevalent, good thing to make use of. Hole Breacher, people are playing a whole lot of the one ring and a whole bunch of dirtily control backs. Hello, Hole Breacher. Uh, this over an additional Narset or something because it can wear a Jite or a Batter Skull if need be. Meddling Mage. There are a lot of decks right now centered around doing a very specific thing. Whether that be the One Ring deck, whether that be Storm decks, Show and Tell, whatever. Being able to just shut off, you don't get to do the one thing that your deck is trying to do, feels very strong. Uh, and Meddling Mage has just been kind of an overperformer when I've put it in some of the other Stoneblade lists. So, welcome to 2023, Meddling Mage. You're here to hang out. So, <clears throat> that is it for the changes to Esper Staff Blade. And without too much further ado, we're just going to dive right in and see what we can do. I appreciate all of you for joining this evening. Plenty of ways you could choose to spend your Tuesday evening. I'm grateful that you've chosen to hang out with me. Let's go, uh, let's go dunk on some nerds. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend and is having a good week so far. Always happy to have you, friend. Glad you could make it out. I, I'm sorry to ruin your life, friend, but we're, we're still out here bullying the kind of decks you love. I mean, that's good, because it's not, it's definitely not targeted at you. In fact, I, thinking about it now, I'm not sure that you and I have ever played a match of Magic. Alright, we won the die roll, I love that for us. It is really strange. That is a thing we can remedy here in the near future. As I recall, we have plans for the 11th of next month. There we go, perfect. Saga's fine. Ah yes, speaking of the One Ring deck, here it is. Speaking of our plans the 11th, please feel free to let me know uh, what your availability is like that day and we will plan accordingly. That works just fine for me. Yes.
its painter. Well, that's intriguing. draw a card here like that for us uh yeah the old time special indeed however we have new toys nice red blasts nerd Servant results. I think we're going to do a little dance here this next turn where I'm going to try to swords to plowshares this painter servant. even better. I think you will.
Sure. Yeah, we're just gonna pass here. my life a little more annoying. Second welder, okay. Had the blast, okay. Gonna brainstorm here. opponent's paying attention here, I'm just dead. This is just weld in activate. Continue to be patient. Okay. I like surgicals here. I like meddling mage. Thoughtsy seems of pretty minimal value overall. I'm gonna cut these staffs. serenities and I kind of don't. I think that we're probably okay.
For anyone who likes to follow the my drinking escapades on this channel, this is a bourbon peach tea, and it is delightful. Cauldra complete. <clears throat> I prefer we didn't do that. If I'm being honest about it. Okay, sure. Sure thing. I mean, I don't really know what our plan is here, friend, but yeah. Fetch our basic here. Welcome, mailman, always nice to see you. Stoneforge. Oh, staff. Sure. That's fine. I cut those. Petal. Sure.
Okay. Coming at me. Is this Bolt Bolt? Well, there, sure. Welding on themselves, okay. But they're grinding themselves, they're looking for the painter. Sure. There's the ancient tomb. Sure, that's fine. Found another welder, okay. Grab Narset, take down. step grind there. So let's see. There's true name, okay. Tick down. Take a brainstorm here. Bounce this other token. We're in good shape. Grindstone activation targeting them. 
sure. We still haven't found the thing. I do love that for us. Saga construct. do this first. Grinding themselves here. Still didn't find it. Say no. All right. True name nemesis. Name you. Move to combat. Attack with all these friends. I agree with that concept, Greg, but we have to get all these things into play. Black, blue, white, void rend this. The tundra here, black, blue, white. Void run this. Surgical this. 
They're not on a Karn package, so they literally can't do that to me now. Uh, Greg, we have enough blockers. Oh, I guess you're talking Shadow Spear on this construct. Yep, 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 yep. Didn't think about that. You're right, you're right. Just killed us here. Not thinking. Spellbomb. Block both. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Batter skull. Uh, Greg, I honestly didn't even think about it. I didn't think to look, I just knew that if I could prevent the combo, we were probably fine. gonna exile my yard? Sure, that doesn't matter. I feel like they have to not have it if they didn't go for it there because that was just lethal. I mean, the, plausible. I didn't think about it, so maybe opponent didn't either. They've wiped my yard. That does not particularly matter. Painter's Servant has arrived. I kind of hate that. Puts us to nine, that's great. Hell yeah. Now I definitely want these serenities. GT seems less good. We'll cut a stone forge. Like, my thought is that we could GTA away welders. Yeah, we'll run this. I have to have more concern about getting turn one. Theoretically, Greg, yes I could.
Look at Engineer, sure. Dragon engines in the yard. Plow this. Painter. And Greg, yeah, I could thought seize away welders and stuff like that. The problem I have with thought seize is that most of the time it's going to look at a bunch of artifacts, and I don't want to end up thought seizing away fuel for their welders and shit. Not if I can avoid it. Gonna brainstorm here. Sure. love that if I'm being honest about it. Oh, the rest of their hand's basically blank. I, I love that. Also, I didn't even realize opponent's sub five minutes. We're fine. Bowmasters is in. Spell bomb, sure. Fine. It's a welder that doesn't currently do anything.
trade this off. Get rid of this. Jam the stone forge. Cauldra. Great, the thing is we can care about Bowmaster because right now they're so far away from stitching together the combo that it just doesn't matter. A welded spell bomb, sure. engineer. But again, they currently have nothing to weld. Magical line, please. Cauldron. I'm not really sure, Greg, I have to assume that that's kind of what's on their radar. But right now I also know that their hand's pretty dead. That's a painter, sure. Don't shuffle. Painter servant, sure, that's fine. Put in this batter skull, get a living weapon trigger. Jam this Narset. Take another chart serenity for my troubles, sure.
Okay. Yes. <clears throat> if they just natural draw it here, we're dead. It's petal. That's fine. Pedal for spell bomb, activate spell bomb. Yup. Hell yeah! Alright, we did the first one. Uh, Greg, we did find the one corner case where PE is better in some to some extent than Voidrend there. And it's specifically because the exile clause on PE really sticks it to Painter. But, that said, uh, Voidrend being an uncounterable instant speed answer to things, also pretty top shelf. So, a little bit in both camps there. Uh, Greg, to answer your question that you had messaged me earlier, um, uh, Hull Breacher is specifically to answer things like the, the One Ring deck and Eight Cast. Just all of the decks that are randomly drawing a bunch of cards, we can shut them off entirely. I understand there is a dis-synergy between Narset, Bowmasters, and Hull Breacher. However, uh, having access to all of the above, I think, is good in a world full of 8-cast, 1-ring, that kind of thing. Bowmasters is a fine card. Flash in this bow master. you didn't dress down. Force pitch force, okay.
and plop. I, okay? I'm gonna ponder here. Play my staff, the storyteller. Force pitching snapcaster, okay. Opponent has hemorrhaged a lot of resources here to get where they're at. Welcome to the party, Marsh Flats. Go find basic planes. Badger Skull enters the battlefield. Oh, it definitely feels like some sort of like back to basics old school control deck which is fine for us right because here we go like the vast majority of our deck is still castable even if they back to basics us right now I know full well that we could get Supreme Verdicted here. Plow? Ending? None of these things matter. Love that for us. Staff of the Storyteller, sure. Okay. They draw a card. They can see the game. Sit. Okay. Things I like here include Jace the Mind Sculptor, Fluster Storm. I kind of like this Jitae if they're on staff of the Storyteller. Like, I'm going to be real about it. I'm going to cut a couple of plows. Like, my first thought is to cut a cauldron.
We don't just shave another plow, honestly. I think we're just gonna mop up things with Gta and Voidrend. Yeah, this is fine. Underground Sea, Thought Seas. They've mulled a four. Really love that for us. All the four get thoughts eased. Seems dope. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Castable Pyroblast looks sick. Opponent said oof and then conceded the match. Let's go, we're 2-0. Like, overall, so far, what we've done here feels pretty good. And having access to second Teferi feels excellent. Um, the Batter Skull has actually come in clutch. Like, just situations where we can just reuse that threat, right? Seems pretty okay. Um, I, Voidrend is nuts. I will keep preaching that card until people understand. Voidrend being an uncounterable instant speed answer to the vast majority of the format threats. So good. Uncounterable instant speed. Get the fuck out of here. Pretty happy about that. I see a few new names hanging out in chat this evening. Hello, welcome. I am Adam from Grand Rapids, Michigan. On this channel, we play primarily a bunch of Eternal Magic, uh, meaning legacy, vintage, uh, things of that ilk. Uh, tonight we are playing Legacy Esper Stoneblade, uh, featuring Voidrend, Orcish Bowmasters, and Staff of the Storyteller. Oh, also thoughts he showed up. Card's still good. Uh, I'm gonna guess some sort of blue-white control there. If I'm being honest with you, Greg, I think that it is some sort of, like, blue-white Drago control deck playing counter spells and Staff of the Storyteller and things like that. Um, which I don't think is an unreasonable thing to want to do in this day and age. Huh? <laughs> I believe this to be a Strassler. Birds of Paradise, sure thing. Ponder. And Force of Will, don't shuffle. I have a force for if something goes horribly awry. Yeah, they were last seen playing Maverick. What if we didn't do that? 
I could thought seize here, but actually I think I just want a bowmasters. Just bowmasters take out this bird of paradise. Take some potential stuff we could be dealing with off the table here. Green, green. Sure. Sylvan Library. Okay. Birds of Paradise. Sure. Plow this bird. Play this land. Thoughts use this human. Sure. They're going to get access to their Sylvan. Yep, they just do this. They have kept all of the magic cards that they have drawn. True name nemesis? Now they have to erase a true name. Minsk and Boo. It is, in fact, Minsk and Boo. This is not the human I thought it was. White, blue. Here's this Teferi. things attack Minsk and Boo. If 
fetch dry it ever makes sense. True name to clear Minskin Boo this next turn. And what? Step one, kill the Batman. Step two, question mark? Yeah, that's fine. Wasteland, sure. Their fourth Yorlingus? Fourth yearling, that's what now? Attack me? Sure. Reasonable. That's not what we wanted to see. Clear this Minskin Boo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another Minskin Boo? Yikes. Kinda hate that. We need a five here. Not happy about it, but it's happening. And trying to figure out if they wasteland and what they wasteland. Well, we just died. Minsk and Boo out here doing what Minsk and Boo do. Okay. Things I want, I like this Containment Priest against Maverick, actually. It's a card that is quite good in the matchup. I want to get rid of these. Shiva Force, cut two Force of Wills, I guess. Like, Jace is fine? I think we're just already in a good, a reasonable spot to like, kind of beat up on this deck. Maybe I'm crazy? <clears throat> I feel like between Jite, Plow, Voidrend, I feel like they can keep up with Jace. Greg, I feel like that is not true anymore. We're off Hydra Blast. Jace is like okay, Meddling Mage is also not terrible. 
I don't need trading a Narset for a Hall Breacher here. The creature, I think, is just better. Yup. Go ahead and ponder. Hmm. I kind of want all of this if I'm being honest. Draw the force. That particularly matters. Plow this night. Multiple plows is the kind of hand that I want against this deck. them extra mana, which I don't necessarily love. I'm only in the business of answering things that answer, or that forcing things that answer true, or answer Stoneforge. Hmm. That is one of those such things. Get it back, do it again. Sure, sure, sure. We're in for a grind here, everybody. giving opponent mana, which I'm not exactly like in love with, but P-Fire isn't exactly a card we're particularly worried about at this juncture. Fourth Yorling is for a billion. Hmm, hate that.
Take out two of them here. They have become the monarch. Not necessarily in love with that. I am going to brainstorm here to see what I can do with my life. Okay. So the thing is, I could think that we can beat Fourth Yorlingus the vast majority of the time. That's not a card that particularly terrifies me, if I'm being honest about it. Also, it's possible that, like, this is just better than Staff of the Storyteller. This is the Minskin Boo. Yup. Yup. Sure. This clears to fairy, this seven to me, sure. They have become the monarch. We're at five. Another carpet of flowers, hate that for us. Minskin Boo between Bowmasters and True Name. Block one of these idiots, take a billion. We're just dead? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can't Cauldra here, so that doesn't do anything. Uh, just the fact that these by default have Trample is killing me here. just dead here. I just want opponent to see it. The P fire, sure. Get back P fire. Fourth year only is looking pretty good right here. That's for sure. If they are smart here, Minskin Boo just puts counters on this. Yep. Okay. Fire me again. Go to one. Yup. Yeah, you don't have another grove there. Another P fire, sure. My terms. Unfortunate. Um. Yeah, that's one that I'm not particularly sure. There's just so much stuff between Fourth Yorlingus and Minskin Boo. And honestly, there again, I think the Fourth Yorlingus, beatable. The Minskin Boo there was the card that was like particularly backbreaking. 
the fact that they were like, make 10 power, gain the monarchy, untap, Minsk and Boo, now one of these remaining tokens is a 5-5. That's pretty trash. Pretty, pretty hard for us to beat that one. Oh, I think the card's good. Yeah. Like, I... I don't dispute that Fourth Rolling is a good magic card. I, I, I don't know that Busto is as far as I would go, but I do think it is a good magic card. Oh, yeah. No, and that's... I think that it probably looks pretty insane in Jeskai. Correct. And I think fourth year rolling this makes a lot of sense in Jess guys. I think it's probably fine with staff. I don't know that I would say nuts, but fine. Yeah, see I think that these are just two different decks. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. Greg, let's backburner this whole thing about staff, because I don't think that's the word you want to be. But, Fourth Yorlingus with Monastery Mentor, I think, is a whole other game. That seems particularly strong. We lost the die roll. Alright. This is unkeepable. gonna hold back this stone forge here because it fetching up calder is probably gonna be pretty good lorian revealed has island cycling and five mana draw three cards
verdict as anticipated. Skull instead here. <clears throat> In case the stone porch doesn't live and we need something else to do with our life. Yeah, sure. You've cast a five mana draw three. Sure. feels good. We're just going to do that. Peed. One of these off the table. Jam the naked batter skull. Okay. <clears throat> we pitched a typhoon there. Opponent also has staff, okay. Take six, go to five, hate that. Five mana force to will, I can remove one of these and still die. Okay. I like Call Breacher here. I like Flusters. What if we just board in Meddling Mage? GTA looks. All of these weapons look good. I'm gonna cut a couple of forces. Cut a couple of plows. <clears throat> Trying to think about what our last cut is. I'm gonna cut one stone forge. It's just so slow. This seems fine. Great, no, fine, yes. Narset is our pitch card. Opponent's mold to six. Thank you. 
Okay. Island Ponder, sure. can just do that. We can just do that. Thinking about how best to play this. I'm just gonna attack. this in and stuff. It's gonna resolve. Island Cycle Lorien Reveal. Okay, get Volk. Targeted Jita. I don't think I want to fight over this. Pyroblast, Swords to Plowshares, Lorien Revealed. Mm, yup, yup.
Okay. Staff of the Storyteller, sure, sure. Island Cycle, this Lorian. So all they have right now is Blast. Blasted, sure. I'm gonna play this because if I draw a batter skull or force a will, I'm gonna regret not playing it. Staff of the storyteller, sure thing. Try to find real magic cards. Uh, Bone Masters. Now their staff of the storytellers are not doing much for them. Take two. Okay. Yeah. Just going to do all these things. Our sip harder avails, sure, sure. Opponent has conceded the game. Love that for us. On the play, I think I do like these forces because they have enough going on that I care. If that's the case, I think I'm less interested in fluster. Catria Triome, sure. So many Bowmasters. Island Cyclorian revealed, sure. This one squeaks through. The rest of them less convinced. <clears throat> Grab basic.
Bowmasters. Who wants to brainstorm here, sure. Make attacks. Staff is in. <clears throat> Another Bowmasters? Supreme Verdict. Force of Whip. Force of Negation Pitching Shark Typhoon. Okay. Basic planes here. Let's go! Well, Alright, that is us three and one playing this new iteration. We lost only to Maverick playing fourth Yorlingus. See, Greg, your silly Jeskai token deck isn't good. I will say, Greg, that it's possible we were on to something previously with this split between just thinking more about, like, the painter matchup and stuff like that. I do wonder if we were on to something with the split between Prismatic Ending and Voidrend. I think I might, too. I think it might be, like, two and two. I've yet to, to make a final decision on that. I do like having more than one copy of Wigrend. Also, I have a strong feeling that it's possible um, that we are supposed to be on Hull Breacher Main instead of Narset. Flash Threat's good. Uh, creature's good. That's that's where we're at with that. Flash threats good, creatures good. 
But all right, let's see if we can get this last one. Wrap it up with a nice 4-1. So, Greg, I like the existence of some sort of effect like that. Uh, my thought with Narset was that it doesn't die to creature removal. But the thing is, I think I just like having the creature better. So, I may revisit something similar to the Esper list that I was playing that is playing whole breachers instead of Narsets. But, I think that we will be doing some iterating on this deck here in the coming weeks. I'm sorry, here I just realized none of you all can see this cool music. So there we go. Um, I do also wonder if we need to be more considerate of something like Fourth Yorlingus. And I don't think... Uh, Greg, you had previously mentioned the uh, Plague Engineer. I don't know if that's the life we want to live. I think it's possible that we should be on something like Supreme Verdict. Like, it's very clear that there is a resurgence of that card, and it makes sense to me as to why. You're right, Greg. Supreme Verdict does, in fact, not carry a weapon. I agree with that statement entirely. I'm gonna keep this. Creep. Nani? Creeping tar pit? This bug still? Counterspell a Preordain Tutor. I'm going to take the Counterspell. This is intriguing. One has Suspended Profane Tutor. Ponder here. I don't think I want any of those right now. Didn't want that either, but okay, here we are. in here? Ponder. Okay. So we know three of those cards still. I don't think that I'm going to cast Narset unless I draw another blue card. This is going to be the preordain, right? Yep. Okay. I do appreciate everyone hanging out tonight. A lot of ways you could choose to spend your Tuesday evening. I'm grateful you've chosen to hang out with me. 
For those of you who are new to the stream, hello, welcome. My name is Adam from Grand Rapids, Michigan. On this channel, we play mostly a bunch of Eternal Magic, Legacy, Vintage, Cube, Popper, things like that, with some occasional video game content thrown in. Uh, for example, on Thursday, we were playing a cute little uh, indie game called Coffee Talk Episode 2. Uh, if you have not seen Episode 1, uh, or in, in curious as to why this is Episode 2, uh, please feel free to go ahead and check out the YouTube channel. The It is down in the Twitch bio, uh, where you can watch me play through all of the first one. Thank you, baby. I do appreciate that. Um, just gonna hold off here. Oh. Strange, but okay. play the sunken hollow what are we tutoring for Opponent's hand could be literal anything. They know that we're some sort of, like, control slanted deck because we thought seized, we pondered, we made a bunch of land drops and passed. Okay. What are we what are we thinking about with this tutor? What I'm asking you opponent is how busted is your deck? Tell me and I'll believe you. Ponder. Okay. Black, blue, tainted pact. Sure. Did we just like can trip with it? Is that what we did? It would seem so. Knight's Whisper, sure.
We have access to flash threat. We have force. I love all of this. Resolves. Is this where you just combo kill me from a bunch of random cards? I mean, fair. Okay. Reanimate Bowmasters, sure. Kill my Bowmasters, yes. Blue, blue, snapcaster, target, thoughtsies? Yeah, sure. fetch our basic here. I mean, not optimal if I'm being real about it, but... Uh, all of these things are good. No shuffle. I mean, if you've got force, you've got force. The dueling bowmasters, except they only get one. Uh, yes. Petty theft has occurred. Not particularly interested in that at this juncture. True name nemesis. Name you. Go ahead. Yeah, I think it's just fine to keep it back. It could be like any random number of flash threats. It's probably this one.
Okay, we take six and go to three. We just die? Sure. Fair. Okay. Random Tainted Pact Control Deck. I like Call Breacher because it's a flash threat. I have a bunch of X ones, so GTA looks pretty good. Don't think I need Batter Skull. I'm gonna cut a Stoneforge Mystic by that same principle. Bring in a couple of flusters. I don't hate just boarding in Jace the Mind Sculptor and like. I'm gonna cut these stabs. I'm gonna board in Jace. that's just better. This is where I wish Voidrend was an actual Vindicate and could hit their random creeping tar pit, but... I don't think Batter Skull is the kind of card we need here. I think I need to respect a lot of random cards here because with it being a Tainted Pact deck, like, they're probably just gonna have a bunch of random shenanigans. And that random shenanigans could randomly include Thassa's Oracle. <laughs> This card gets a lot worse in matchups like this. Not that there's a lot of random tainted packed shenanigans floating around, but staring at meddling mage going, huh, that really wants you to, to play a very specific card and have multiples of them. play first. I'm keeping a hand with Force of Will because I literally don't know what all opponent's deck does. Sunken Hollow, sure. Thoughts easy. Uh, yuck. Take him to Turok. A lot of this is very beatable. No covered island, sure. Narsa. has tainted pacted. Catacombs was exiled. Island has been exiled. 
Lightning Impact, Florian Revealed, Snow Covered Swamp, Underground Sea, Damnation, sure, Tarn, Dark Slick Shores, Profane Tutor, The One Ring, yeah, that one's not very good with an Arsit in play. You can keep exiling your deck if you like. This pact is gone. Chromox. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Sure thing. Nice Murktide Regent. It's happening. We're going to do it. Grief exiled cut down. What if I told you I don't want you to do that? Like, no? What if the answer is just no? Three mana. Swift end kills Narsa. Sure. Chase the Mind Sculpture. Uh, no. I didn't. I want to brainstorm. Please and thank you. That chase the mind sculpture where it's at, thanks. Ten arms hello and welcome. Always a pleasure. We are currently three and one playing the new iteration of Esper Stoneblade with Bowmasters. And uh apparently it's 2007 again. I'm just gonna unsummon this Murktide, right? Like, opponent knows that. Yeah, Ten Arms so far, our only loss was to uh, Naya Maverick with fourth Yorlingus.
Rollmasters. I'm gonna brainstorm here. This cauldron's not really doing anything. Sick. Wow, this. I mean, you're right. Ten Arms, it is in fact so hot right now. This is fine. Plus target you? No, it doesn't matter. Voidrend? Okay. So I know opponents have fair deck now, and they have more creatures than originally anticipated. Maybe I don't want these flusters. Get back my stone fortune, my batter skull. I do like the idea of just having higher threat density. Alright everyone, this one's for the 4-1. Uh, Tenorms, we are just shifted ever so slightly. Uh, it came to my attention that there was camera coverage of another area in the living room. Uh, so I wanted to create a little more privacy for that specific space. So we've just rotated things ever so slightly. Oh, actually, no. Uh, yes, you are correct. Since the last time we talked... It, there is, in fact, there is, in fact, changes. My apologies. Yikes. Ship this. Ship Jace. Probably should have just kept the last one that had Force and Stone Forge. Am I getting griefed? Battle, okay. Yeah, like, I could have kept the one that just, like, casts a Stoneforge Mystic and does nothing else. Kazad Doom, Swamp Cycling 1, 6 mana, 6, 5, can't be blocked except by 3 or more creatures. Okay. Yeah, so opponent is on a Tainted Pact control deck. Yeah, opponent, uh, opponent's list confirmed spicy.
I mean, when you're on Tainted Pact terms, you play all the deep cuts. We drew the single end, Tenorms. We did, in fact. We'll get this hand rolling here in just a minute. Game plan is going to be fetch and end step if they flash in, like something like an op agent, we can plow it. Stoneforge to Fairy, okay. Uh, Greg, we are one and one right now. We got to put Jason to play last game, too. Engineer, sure. Uh, they did end up conceding, yes. Brainstorm. I mean, it could have also been the, like, have all these other things too, but fair. Thoughts he's resolves. Which one of these three drops are you most mad about? Stress Daddy, thank you for the raid. Appreciated. You are our only match loss today. This one's for the 4 1 friend. His star, hello and welcome. For those of you joining from Stress Daddy Stream, hello, welcome. Uh, I am Adam from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Tonight we are playing Esper Stoneblade. Nice, congrats. Yeah, we are playing Esper Stoneblade with Voidrend, Staff of the Storyteller, and Orcish Bowmasters. Congrats on your 4-1 friend. I'm gonna brainstorm here.
Do they have the bow? They have the bowmasters. Okay, that's unfortunate. Connor, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, Bowmasters has been pretty cool. Answer this now. <clears throat> yeah, Bowmasters has been pretty good. Uh, staff, I've been less sold on. And truth be told, in future iterations, I think I might cut it entirely. I've just not been super pleased with what staff has to offer for stone blades specifically. Uh, snap him. Yuck. Our opponent's control deck full of one ofs has been pretty gross. Yeah, I think staff is really meant for a control deck, and that's not where we are. Yuck. Yeah, the hymns have been pretty, pretty brutal. Force of will, why? All right, everybody. Twin Dom, thank you. I uh, Legacy's in a pretty good spot right now. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. But unfortunately, this draw means that we are dead, friends. Still managed to get ourselves a three and two, which is all right. So for all of you joining late, this is our 75 from the evening. Uh, this is Esper Stoneblade. So we started last week by playing uh, Stoneblade for Life's list uh, that they were workshopping. This is the exact 75. Uh, so. That had four staffs, four bowmasters, a spell pierce, only one to fairy, a three-one split of prismatic ending and void rend, uh, and then a hydro blast in the sideboard, two plague engineers, a sideboard thoughtsies, this batter skull. Uh, I did not like staff that well, so we cut that to two. Uh, I'm a big fan of void rend, so we went three void rend, no prismatic ending. Bumped up our Teferi time raveler. Picked up two copies of Narset, Batter Skull in the main, no more Spell Pierce. Uh, then our sideboard got an extra copy of Deafening Silence, a copy of Serenity, a copy of Hole Breacher, and two copies of Meddling Mage. Uh, overall, I think the deck's pretty sweet. I think that the next iteration is probably going to cut these stabs all together, and we'll probably play like a Prismatic Ending and... Question mark? Uh, I think Narsets will become Hole Breacher's main, uh, just because Hole Breacher also just randomly carries weapons um, on top of being a flash threat. All of these things are good. So, with that, we have one final thing to do before we close it out tonight, everyone, and that is we have a tradition on this channel. We win chests, we open chests. So I appreciate everyone for joining. If you like what you see here, please feel free to go ahead and give a follow. I'm usually live a couple of times a week uh, with some legacy, uh, occasionally some vintage, some random video game content. We're going to be playing some Coffee Talk Episode 2 on Thursday night. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting all of you. Again, Strass Daddy, thank you for the raid. Always appreciate it. 
Connor, thank you for shouting us out. I really do appreciate it. Let's uh, go ahead and see how we did. Well, that's five play points. Errant and Giada. And a Jace's Mindseeker. Yikes. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. You all have a fantastic evening. I will see you all again on Thursday when we're here to hang out and play some coffee talk. Cheers, everyone. You all have a great night.